seven world-class award-winning plugins used by countless professional engineers in post, broadcast, music, and even live sound. Join the elite who own Sonox Elite because you're worth it. Wait, what? Because you're worth it? Cut! I'm here on the Lewitt booth at NAM with Roman and they've kindly provided this very comfortable sofa so don't mind if this interview takes longer than usual. <laughs> But Lewitt are well known for some fairly exotic studio microphones, but what they have, um, this show looks very much like a traditional rock and roll mic, but I'm guessing there's something a little bit special going on inside. So if you can tell us about both of these models, that would be much appreciated. Definitely, it's my pleasure. Um, our goal with our new flagship series was um, to basically um, put studio performance into handheld microphones. So our uh, newest flagship is the MTP 940. It's a handheld microphone, as you can see, and um, what we did is we put uh, studio performance inside. So we've got a uh, one-inch uh, externally polarized um, condenser capsule, uh, a dual diaphragm, so there are uh, three different polar patterns. It's a broad cardioid, cardioid, and super cardioid, so typically polar patterns for stage applications. Um, and then, as we, our brand um, would like to have feature-rich products, we uh, incorporated um, two attenuation settings, um, which is 6 dB and 12 dB, as well as high pass filters at 100 Hz and 250 Hz. And moreover, we thought uh, we would like to increase uh, usability, and uh, we put a small LED display on the front uh, of, the, of the ring of the microphone. So when the um, microphone cap is on, um, you can still check very easily in which setting this very versatile microphone is actually. That's because all the settings are made inside the grill? Yes, uh, to uh, adjust the settings you have to unscrew uh, the grill and then you will find four slide switches, um, one for the attenuation, one for the high pass, one for the polar pattern and the fourth one is actually to switch off the lights for users who don't like to have lights on their handheld mics. So this is actually quite good because it, it stops the user changing things accidentally? That's true, that's, that's very important we feel for, for stage performances. Um, moreover, in this microphone we have a, a new technology, patent pending um, uh, technology, um, which allows us to reduce basically the, the circuit noise further down. And uh, through this technology we basically achieve a, a self noise of only 9 dB. So it's actually a true studio performance, as well as a um, dynamic range of 135 dB. Yeah, basically, um, yeah. It so it would be a practical choice for someone who both gigs and records? True that, yeah, yeah. Um, basically now you can take your studio's uh, microphone onto the stage or you can have stage performance in the studios. Okay. So the other model looks very similar. What's the story here? Yes, um, this is our MTP840, our second new flagship model. It's a dynamic mic. Um, it's a super cardio microphone. Um, and also here we um, did a little bit of extra and we put in a microphone preamp. Um, so this, uh, which is actually optional, uh, so you can use it actually as a uh, normal dynamic mic without phantom power. But if you do want, you can add phantom power and then you have a mic preamp in there, um, which can provide an extra boost of 6 dB or 12 dB in gain. Um, we also incorporated a um, high pass filter, again 100 and 250 hertz. And of course, the lights uh, in the LED ring, which are, again, optional, can be yes. switched off. And they'll only come on if you're working in the phantom power mode, I guess. Of course, yeah, yes. that needs power. Yeah. So does it automatically switch the preamplifier on when the phantom power is engaged? Is that how it works? Uh, or, do, no, or do you have to you consciously have switch it on inside? No, it's, 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 it's always there, but yeah. uh, you have to um, uh, adjust the settings, right? There's 0 okay. dB, then it's without preamplifier, basically, yes. and you can add 6 dB or 12 dB. So that's the switch setting? Yes, correct. Yes. Okay. Um, do you have any delivery dates and pricing on these? Yes, we will ship them um, most likely in May. Yeah. Uh, and um, yeah, pricing is not fixed yet, but we aim for uh, very reasonable prices. <laughs> That's uh, a strategy of our brand. Okay. Thanks for that, Roman. It's a pleasure. Thank you.